Hey everyone, um, so I got cut off in my last video. It was supposed to pause it and it didn't. And instead of trying to start it over again, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a two part. Um, I had been talking about dishes for my stepdaughter and I was at Dollar Tree in Kentucky and I, it was the last aisle I had gone down and I just happened to look and I found some dishes for her. And what makes it so exciting is that in the back, the sticker says Gibson, but if you pull it up, like I did, it is, hopefully you can see it, Better Homes and Garden. And I was really excited because, you know, they're actual name brand dishes for a dollar. They're a great gray color, which she will love. And, you know, they're just a cute, simple dish, but they're perfect for her. And they actually had another stout, which was really pretty. And I almost got them for myself. They were like a brown and they had like, um, like a ball design that went all the way around. Um, the only thing is that we didn't like is they didn't, how this dips down right here, they were pretty much completely flat across. And so food that was on, it kind of rolled around a little easy, but they were really pretty and I put them in the cart and then I put them back. So, because I do, I have dishes. I don't really need more, but I, you know, I'd kind of talk myself into it being a name brand and for so cheap. But anyways, so I did not bring all the dishes up here. I just brought this one so you could see, but I got, they had four large plates left. So I got four of the large and they had this size, which is a smaller size. And I got four of these and they had four bowls. And then I'm also going to, um, when I finish up my Christmas shopping tomorrow, I'm going to pick up some dish towels and things for them. And they had one, um, you know, usually when you buy like a box set, it has um, the large plates, the dessert plates, bowls, and like usually the mugs. Well, they did have one mug that matched this, but with them being as young as they are, I knew they probably won't use the mugs. So I wasn't really worried about getting them. I just wanted to get them the, the plates and the bowls. So I did that. But I was very excited. Like I said, great find, great price. I have not seen them anywhere else. I will definitely be looking for them though. Uh, so the next part of the haul I'm going to share with you is from the Dollar Tree down by the coast. I picked up more bags there. Um, even if I don't use all the bags, that's fine. I know they have too many. And, and I do wrap stuff in, in wrapping paper too. It just depends on what it is. But like I had hauled several bags before and I've already used several of them for um like we had an ornament exchange at work we did a dirty santa game at a christmas party um some of different friends at church and different people that I've done gifts for so I've used several of them and so I just wanted to pick some more got this very cute santa bag I just really liked him I thought he was really cute so I got him and then I got this Santa bag, which they're holding the letters that spelled out joy. So I really liked that. Um, this one I just thought was very, very pretty. I think I'm going to use it for my mother-in-law. It is the poinsettia. And it is all glittered up. And I love the plaid again uh, across the top. But I thought that was very, very pretty. And then the another poinsettia one, which had two poinsettias and they are all glittered up and I'm hoping that the shimmer will show because they are very very pretty so I got those and then typically I'm not a big like I like Santa Claus stuff okay but he's not you know some people do snowmen some people do penguins some people do Santa Claus um I don't gravitate towards the Santa Claus stuff as much but I thought he was too cute and his little reindeer with the little candy cane kind of swirl antlers. I just thought it was precious. And so I had to get him. And there's a couple other designs that I almost got, but this one was my favorite. I just thought he was really, really cute looking. Santa, look at him. He just looks so jolly. So I got him. And then I got this one with the penguin and the snowman. I thought he was very, very cute. And then this is the last one I got, and it's just kind of simple, but it just says Merry and Bright, and it's glittered up. So, and I liked the kind of wood 
stuff back then. So I got those in my bags. Um, I had hauled before a bucket that I showed you that had a rope handle, and that was for my stepson. As I mentioned, he loves to clean his truck. He loves to get it dirty, but he loves to clean it and shine everything up. And so I'm making up a bucket of items that he can use for for the truck. So I found several items there. Um, they're in different bags, but I'm going to see... Okay, I found this, um, and I did not realize till now that it is ripped. But I don't think it was ripped when I got it, so I may have ripped in the car. Hopefully it'll still be, still be good. But it is, um, a Realtree hanging air freshener. I think it's supposed to be, like, new car scent. So I actually have two of them, because I got him one of these already that's going to go in his stocking, and then one's going to go in the bucket. He loves air freshening. So I got him that. And then I got him these Spick and Span Auto Truck RV Protectant Wet Wipes. Removes dust and lint that build up on dash and plastic components. Handy size stores and cup holder within easy reach. Just wipe and toss. And there's 25 wipes in there. I thought that was really cool. You can just like stick it in anything. Because um, as a matter of fact, a few weeks ago he had a box of cheese that's sitting in the back and he went to pick it up and he picked it up by the bottom and the top of it slung open and cheese it's went everywhere so yeah. um let's see and then i got him this super soft microfiber cloths it's 24 inches by 16 inches for cars indoor outdoor House, office, glass, jewelry, furniture, computers, electronics, plastic, tile, metal, and more. But I thought, again, he could use it. It's quite large. He could use it for the truck. And then I got two of these microfiber auto cleaning towels. These are 14 inches by 16 inches. And you get two in each one. I got in this bright green color. It's kind of showing up yellow, but it's a little bit more green than that. And then I got them. The same ones, but in blue. Again, and you get two of them. So those are going to go in his bucket. And then, let's see. Okay, I got him this wash sponge. Super durable. And let's see. Super durable, scratch-free, safe for all clear coat finishes. That'd be good, you know, sets up real nice for when he's washing it. And then, I believe this is the last thing I got for it, and it's their glass wipes. So, I picked that up. And then I'm probably going to pick up, um, maybe some washer fluid for the, for the windshield, or, um, soap for the car, something, you know, else to put it. But this is what I found at... Dollar Tree that I like, but see, you can see it's already a nice little, little stack of things that'll go good in his little, his big bucket, but, uh, and then some other items I got, I got these combat ant killing bait strips, they're going to go in my kitchen because it has not gotten cold enough, well, it's been getting cold and getting hot and getting cold and getting hot and Especially after it rains, I've been having ants around my sink. So, and you get, where did I see it? Five bait strips for a dollar. So that'd be perfect. Because they are not a whole lot of them, but it's enough to be annoying. So I got that. I got my daughter this shower comb, which you can hang in the shower. So then she can put conditioner in her hair and then comb it through. And then that way it'll help with the tangles. I've got two of these heavy traffic carpet cleaner foams. And then I also got, which I didn't bring in here with me, um, one of their sponge mops at Dollar Tree because I'm actually going to use that to kind of work this into the areas that are um, a little bit more more soiled, I guess, you know. Uh, that way, too, I'm not having to, like, bend over and scrub and, you know, hopefully it'll work. So, I'm running out of room. So, I got two of those and... I can't remember, but I'd, I'd seen someone haul them and said they used them before. These I was excited about because I had looked before and I couldn't find them at the other Dollar Trees. But these are these uh, cake molds, little, I guess silicone. But I got four of them for
for soap making. They're actually a perfect size. I can make the soap and then slice them into bars. I got four of those. Um, and I may have to stop this video too because I think I just heard my stepson pull up. Somebody, or maybe, I don't know. It sounds like they got the four-wheeler out. I don't know. It's raining, though, so and it's dark. I hear something, though. So we'll see if they show up here. Oh, we actually got two of these phones because one is for my husband, his best friend, um, for his daughter because she's got very long hair. I got this kid's anti-cavity fluoride rinse. I got two bottles of the vinegar. I really, really like this vinegar. I use it a lot in the laundry room. It helps with, um, I use it a lot for towels. Like if we have towels that, um, cause the boys may use towels and then leave them, leave them sitting out somewhere. Like, I don't know that they're there and then they get stinky. No joke. A cup of vinegar takes the stink out. So I use that, and then I also use it when I'm washing the dog's blankets because it, again, helps with any sort of smell. Uh, I got a pack of these razors. I really like these. They work very well. Um, I got, this is for my stepson's, um, I don't know if it's going to go into the stocking or it may go into the movie basket, but it's the Dr. Pepper, uh, like licorice. I like those. For my little grandbaby, I got two board books. I'm learning shapes and I'm learning colors because my stepdaughter told me that she loves books and they're nice and chunky and she'll have fun with those. And then I also got her this one, which is Wor Worlds of Wonder, which is a Disney book with the little flaps. So I thought she'd like that. And then, let's see. Oh, I got this. Where'd it go? There it is. I got this for myself to go in my purse. They're the Scope Outlast Mini Brush. Long lasting mint. No water needed. Get fresh on the go. So, um, because this is really gross. But the other day, um, we, I had just gotten back late Saturday night. And then we got up Sunday. And I'm a very, like, creature habit routine sort of thing. And I had not yet brought my toiletries bag upstairs that had my toothbrush in it. And so I told my husband, I said, don't let me forget to brush my teeth before we go because I have, you know, like a set of routine. And I forgot to brush my teeth before we left for church. So I chewed some peppermints and I wore my <laughs> peppermint lip gloss and just hoped that nobody, I could smell my breath. Hopefully my breath was see. I don't know. I didn't, I just wasn't going to take any chances. So I got these just in case. It, like that's a very rare thing but you know even sometimes do you eat something and it just leaves like a taste in your mouth I thought that might be good so and then I got these um stickers these are different ones that I've seen this one is owls and it has a cute tree I thought those were really cute and then I got this one which I thought was really pretty it has a flowers and butterfly and little phrases and it's got some glitter on it and then this one has flowers and leaves and um, a bird. And I thought those were really cute. And they had a few others, but those were my favorite. And then the last thing I got that I'm going to share. With, oh, wait. I'm going to share this. I got this. Um, I was watching uh, Gracie's Loft, I think. And she had shared one of these. She got the silver one. And I've kind of been looking for them because I thought they were really pretty. Um... But this is like a bronze color. And this is the only one they had. But I got it because I thought it, you know, they were just really pretty. I don't know. And for a dollar, you know, put a little tea light in it. So I got that. And I think that's just going to sit like on my desk. And then also too, she had shared some puzzles she had gotten. And um, my niece and nephew are here for the week. And then um, my daughter too also likes puzzles. And I've kind of been look out, on the lookout for some of the puzzles she got. They were by a specific artist, I believe. And so, I hadn't seen any. Well, when I went the other day, I found three puzzles. And they're by three different artists. But it's all the same kind of thing. And they're 100-piece puzzles. This one is Adrian Chesterman. 
and it's called Seal Pups. And I thought that was really cute, and the girls would like that a lot. And then um, the next one is Jan Patrick Crasney, Winter Wolf Family. I just thought that was really pretty too. And then um, Alan Gianna, which I think is the one that Gracie's Loft had shown, um, was this artist. And I don't know if she showed this particular puzzle, but this one is called Holiday Hoot. And I just thought it was really, really pretty for Christmas. So that is, those are the three that I got and I plan on um, taking them for the kids to, to kind of put together and um, you know, because it's just nice to sit around and we play games and, you know, the, do the puzzles. And then my mother-in-law, too, um, when I was telling her about it, she had expressed some interest in having some puzzles to do. Um, you know, especially she, if she can be, she'll be outside doing stuff. But on days when it's rainy or too cold, especially the winter coming up, um, you know, it's a puzzle to be good. So I think I'm going to look, too, when I go and maybe get her some puzzles to put in her with their books. So anyways, though, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll have some more hauls for you soon. Thanks. Bye.